So I've been opening up the, the new session template first, the project template uh, 51 listen for reverb, downmix, FX full voice, and so on. And then I added a new track in here. And now I'm in the FX folder and I'd, I opened up the sound field by road plugin. You will get this for free. When you when you type Rode sound field, you'll get the plugin on their website. And then when you open it up, you have the input and the output. Input is always four channels. So what we're going to do is we will pull our audio onto these channels. In this channel, we have an input, which uh, the recording format we use is ambisonic A format. That's a preset in the Zoom H3 field recorders, as well as when we use the NTSF uh, microphone from Rode, which we have, which uh, Noah and, uh, and Sven used yesterday in Zurich. Mm -hmm. So that's our input, ambisonic A, and our output can be stereo, 51, 71, whatever, mono. So now we choose, we want the 51 output. And then we will get additional uh, uh, outputs here. Now we only have the, the left, right, since we are on stereo. And now we get center, LFE, and LSRS, left surround, right surround. We might not need LFE, so we can mute that one. We usually don't use this with ambiences. Uh, we have a little gain control here. We can go minus 10, plus 10. And now let's take one of those recordings. So what you hear now is actually the 5-1 signal. So you only hear the left and the right channel. And now you hear the down mix since you muted the 5 1 listen and opened up the listen 2 0. We have this down mixer plugin which down mixes our signal to stereo. But in the session, the whole workflow is in surround now. We have it in 5 1 on the Atmos folder. We have it in 5.1 on the master 5.1. We don't listen in 5.1, we listen to stereo, so we have the down mixer which converts it back to a stereo signal. So if you want to add additional ambiences, then you can simply Control duplicate or shift D it. Delete that one and add another. That's a male singer in India. One additional option, if you're not working in Reaper and you simply want to convert an ambience from uh, surround or from ambisonic to surround or to stereo, is you can use the Zoom ambisonic player, which is also a freeware. So I can also import my track in here and choose which section, choose the format, either stereo. Now you can listen in stereo. Now I switch to binaural and it will sound quite different on your headphones. You hear the difference? So what's being added in the binaural version in the binaural version, it adds 
information that is contained in the ambisonic uh, 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 recording as like a footprint of an ear because the ear decides whether a sound comes from the back or from the front mm -hmm. from up or down and therefore by adding this footprint of, of an ear that is what is being done when you do the binaural decoding with a with a plugin you can also record binaural sounds directly either with a with a uh, two mics that are built around the head or by simply putting two microphones in your ears and walk around you will also record binaural recordings because already by the size of the ears sound from the from the front will be less muffled than sound from the back and uh, so you can either do it uh, in reality during the recording or in this case, you record it as a binaural, uh, as an ambisonic signal with four channels. And then you decode it using the information contained in the ambisonic format to create this binaural feeling. So either you do it in here, or if you work in Reaper, then it's as the way I've described it.